Welcome back guys. One of the very basic feature of Excel is to filter. We use filters every day. For example, on our data tables, generally on the data, etc, etc. I'm going to show you today how you can make filters and especially a top 10 filter on your pivot table. And trust me, it is relatively easier to run this kind of filter. Very simple. Stay with me for a couple of minutes and you will see how easy and convenient it is. So let's move on to the spreadsheet. I have got some mock data here. This is sample data of some um, students, numbers, scores that we are going to make top 10 out of it. The first and foremost thing that I will do is I will insert a pivot table. It's very simple. And then I will fetch the students in one column where I want to see the top 10. I will also drag the names of the subject and the values, which eventually will give us what? Scores. This is the sum of each subject, which means that the total score is summed up here. Now, the topic is we want to filter the top 10 students for any of these subjects or each of these subjects who have been scoring very well and performing very good. I will click on to this one. This is the drop down for this label and it shows down here students as well. But we are more interested in the values or the scores for each one of these categories. So we'll go to the value filter and on the value filter at the very bottom you will see top 10. Simply click on it and there is a menu where Excel needs some more feedback from your input from you to give you the desired results. You can make a top 10 or a bottom 10 as well. Bottom 10 means that the worst student or 10 worst scoring students will stick with the top 10. Okay, you can make a top 5 as well. You can put down whatever number you want. So let's stick to top 10 here. Items, you can make a percentage as well. And if there is no sum already in your columns, you can use sum as well. In this case, I will select, let's say, geography, for example. So I want to see top 10 scoring student of a subject geography. I will simply click on OK, and this will bring us to top 10 students in geography. I will make a little change just to demonstrate how it works. I will bring it down to top, let's say, three. Select, and now you have top three students in geography. So guys, this is as simple as this. You can simply use this value filter and bring your top bottom 10 here based on the scores you have. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. Best way to establish and strengthen your learning in Excel is to practice it. So I will strongly recommend you guys to go back and practice a bit. This practice will help you to remember this functionality when you will be in deep down in your work to help you understand how you can deal with it. If you like the video, fellows, share it with your colleagues. Do write down your comments to share with me your opinion. And if there is something you would like to learn more and learn with me, please put down into the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you are the first timer. And I really hope that you will come back to my channel and you will be interested in my teaching and learning with me in Excel. Till then, stay safe, guys. I wish you all a very good rest of the day and speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.